Dear graduate staff, family, and friends, welcome to the High School for Environmental Studies 2021 graduation ceremony. Due to COVID-19 restrictions, our ceremony is held virtual, and we are here to celebrate our four years at HSCS. Our live chat is now open during this presentation. Please feel free to cheer up one another and have fun. Remember, this coming Monday, June 28th, and Tuesday, June 29th, you could pick up your diploma at school and take pictures in our graduation booth outside of the school. Teachers and staff will be there to celebrate an important milestone in our lives. Without further ado, here is our 2021 HSCS virtual graduation ceremony. Congratulations to the class of 2021. We did it. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, and invisible, with liberty and justice for all. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight for the ramparts we were so gallantly streaming, and the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Who state us that star spangled banner? Congratulations, class of 2021. Hi, my name is Denise Domena, and I'll be reading you a poem I wrote and published this year called Siempre Borigua, which centers around identity. I wish your voice was just white noise, something I can block out, like the rumbling of the subway breaking harshly in the city or the blaring sirens of police on call. Instead, I stop and freeze when you jokingly question me for it no longer feels like a tease, but a disassociation from others like me. I'm from Bushwick, New York, balancing the border of Brooklyn and Queens, the overachiever with straight A's, the one who cries over silly mistakes. I'm also the youngest of two, my abuela's cuquita, my parents' little one, and my sister's loving pain, the unspoken glue that holds this family in place. Without knowing any part of me, you say I must be oblivious to my culture and roots because I don't speak Spanish or have the same accent as you do, as if I haven't been trained by my abuela's roots. And yet despite our language barrier, I still manage to understand her. Some might call it broken English, but actually it's music to my ears, something I've learned from and listened to over the past few years. Her voice guides my course against this frictional force it teaches me how to move my hips to the blasting speakers of our Brooklyn district. It leads me to the back of the shady projects to watch the vejitos play endless rounds of dominoes, tracing my fingers along the dotted indents, hoping to pull off a gapiku in just a matter of minutes. It shows me why piragua hits different than any sprinkled ice cream from Mr. Softy, and how Vicks is the solution to any sickness, for a cold of it can cure just about any illness. Not to mention smelling her authentic Benita richness after watching her sprinkle the adobo on like it's nobody's business. Learning the familiar sounds of chancletas down the hall and feeling dirty if my bare feet touches my house floors at all. These small things bear heavy significance to who I am as a Puerto Rican. I will no longer allow you to question all these fond memories. Pretty soon, your noise will fade into just another muffled voice during my commute indicating my train is delayed. Just like the train conductor, I won't hear you because my pop indie rock is consuming you 
tuning out your opinions that have been blinding you from seeing that I am, and always will be, Borigua. Thank you, and congratulations to the class of 2021. Hello, High School for Environmental Studies. This is Senator Chuck Schumer, and it's my honor to address the teachers and staff, the families and friends of the graduates, but most of all, you, the class of 2021. Congratulations. Now, I'm really sorry that I can't join you in person, but I'm grateful that modern technology allows us to still be connected on this graduation day. You are special, and I wouldn't want to miss congratulating you, COVID or not. As we all know, these have been unusual and difficult times. But the fact that we're still celebrating this graduation and not letting COVID stand in the way, even if we're celebrating differently, just goes to show you that New Yorkers won't let anything stop us from honoring what's so important in life. And nothing, nothing can take away from the fact that you've earned your high school diploma from such a fine school. Now we have a long way to go, but for the first time in more than a year, we can start to think about what it'll be like to return to normal. We're beginning to see light at the end of the tunnel, thanks to safe and highly effective vaccines. As Senate Majority Leader, the first ever from New York, I worked hard to pass the American Rescue Plan, which helped put those vaccines into millions of New Yorkers' arms and put money in the pockets of people and small businesses who have been hurt by this crisis and by helping our society recover in so many different ways. So class of 2021, my message to you is simple. Right now, it may feel like the future is uncertain, but what has been true throughout history is just as true today. That even in these times of difficulty, there are always new opportunities, new ways of thinking, of doing things a better way. And don't forget, you have loving families who will have your back through thick and thin. Our nation is overcoming this pandemic. And we need your help and your courage to rebuild our country even stronger than it was before. This past year has revealed the injustices and prejudices that persist in our society. And we just can't go back to the way things used to be. We must make our society better. And we know we will because you are our future leaders and because we have faith in you. And so to the High School for Environmental Studies Class of 2021, I say once again, Congratulations, good luck, and Godspeed. Hi, I'm Misha Porter, Chancellor of New York City Public Schools, and I'm absolutely delighted to have the opportunity to celebrate your graduating class of 2021. Earning a diploma is always a major accomplishment to be honored, but the added challenges you encountered and overcame during the pandemic make your achievements truly special and praiseworthy. You have lived through two years like no other, and to make it to this point shows your power, your strength, and your resilience. I have been a New Yorker my whole life, and we have never faced anything as disruptive as the pandemic. It threw our lives upside down. It was scary, confusing, and stressful. The familiarity of walking the halls at school suddenly shifted to remote learning from home. All of a sudden, you lost face-to-face -face interaction with your classmates and teachers. Many of us even lost someone close to us or in our wider communities. And yet at the same time, you managed to complete your coursework and requirements to arrive at the moment we are celebrating today. Along the way, you raised your voices, you showed us the power of student voice, telling us how you felt and what you needed. You shared your vision for your educational journey and for the world, demonstrating your ambitions for yourselves and for all of us. And I can admit, you were way ahead of us on some things like technology. You taught us how to use technology in new and exciting ways, and we are grateful. The way you have stood up in the face of this pandemic shows incredible resilience and fortitude that you will be able to draw on throughout the journey that lies ahead of you. And it's how I know you are going out into the world prepared to be the world changers and innovators. If your journey is anything like mine, it may be filled with surprises. I personally graduated from Queens Vocational and Technical High School in Queens. In fact, this year is my 30th anniversary of my high school graduation. And you know what my major was? Plumbing. But instead of becoming a plumber, 
I ended up following the path of my mom, who was a teacher and my absolute favorite teacher. What I learned from her and my Aunt Brenda, who was my pre-K teacher, was how much of a difference one teacher can make in the life of a student. I also learned that from Ms. Hulak, the English teacher who supported me when I was having my own personal struggles as a 10th grader. I know that each of you can think of teachers who made a positive difference in your lives, both before and during the pandemic. And I'm gonna guess that your family had a little something to do with it too, standing by you in ways you could see and ways that might be invisible to you, but absolutely critical to arriving at this moment. So I hope you will find an opportunity to thank them today because hearing from you will mean so much to them. And I'll just say directly to parents, I thank you. I know how much this day means to you. I've been in your shoes. This is your day too. You may know the poet Maya Angelou, who's my personal hero. I even named my daughter after her. She said words I try to live by, and I think you will find valuable as you go through life as well. Maya said that people may forget what you do and forget what you say, but they'll never forget the way you make them feel. So please keep that in mind, whatever path you take as you move beyond high school, starting today by recognizing the people who made you feel supported and loved along the way. Let me offer one other suggestion. Wherever you may go, strive to do something meaningful to support your community. We have seen and felt how inequality can literally threaten lives in this city. All you have to do is look at a map of where COVID-19 hit hardest. We have seen and felt terrible acts of violence targeted towards our neighbors. You can play a meaningful role in addressing the anti-Black violence, anti-Semitism, anti-Asian violence, Islamophobia, xenophobia, and homophobia that causes harm every day. None of us can be silent or passive in the face of hatred and violence in all its forms. Solidarity is active. It is through our actions that we can create safety and support for one another. I have seen this over and over again throughout my life. There are so many ways to help your community, and this is a moment to begin thinking about how you can give back to yours. So again, congratulations on all you have accomplished. You deserve this day and this celebration. You have earned it. I hope you are as proud of yourselves as I am of each and every one of you. And I can't wait to see what you're going to do going forward. Congratulations. Good afternoon. Dear High School for Environmental graduating class of 2021. I can't express how proud I am of you and how deeply humbled and honored I am to be with you as your principal. I've served as your principal all of your four years and I've had the privilege of watching you grow into future leaders. Although we can't celebrate your accomplishments in person, know that I am cheering for you loudly while we all safely social distance. I'm glad that you had two and a half years of normal life at the high school to enjoy what we had to offer and make new friends. I also realized that the most important point of your high school career has been spent remotely and it's been virtual. Although that was out of my power to change, I know and see that you have continued to grow and have done really well under these very difficult times and that our lives have been forever changed by this global pandemic. I know that in this uncertain time, you may feel anxiety about your future. Um, this moment in time will prepare you to overcome future obstacles. Understand that you have many more opportunities as well as obstacles that await you. And it is, this, it is in these times that I hope you persevere and realize your true potential. Our time together went by quickly, but your ties for the High School for Environmental Studies are forever. Uh, and when we return back to school in the fall, I hope that you will come visit us when you are at home from college. As you continue your journey of success, I hope that you will share your college experiences 
and come and share them with us during career days. Perhaps even be a teacher in the future to High School for Environmental Studies students. As I say goodbye to you, I would like to share one of my favorite quotes. What lies behind us and what lies before us are small matters compared to what lies within us by Ralph Waldo Emerson. So this is a goodbye. However, I hope it will be, I will see you soon in person. Bye. Hello to the graduating class of 2021 from the High School of Environmental Studies. My name is Frederick Joseph. I'm an author, a marketer, an activist, and it's my distinguished honor to be able to speak to all of you on the day of your commencement. You know, when I was asked to do this, um, I struggled for a long time in terms of what I wanted to say. Um, not because I don't have the opportunity to speak to young people. It's one of my favorite things to do. Um, but 2021, much like 2020, uh, have been interesting years. You know, they've been difficult years. And I don't think that any graduating classes have dealt with more in modern history, quite frankly. So what do I say to a group of people who, honestly, I'm in awe of, right? Uh, when I had the opportunity in December 2020 to sit with um, Ms. Rosenberg um, and the Feminist Eagles, you know, I left that conversation, like I said, in awe. You know, you are some of the most brilliant people I've ever spoken to, and most of you aren't even past the age of 19 yet. So again, what do I say to you? Well, I guess I, I'll first start with what was said to me that I didn't like, quite frankly. Uh, when I was graduating from high school, you know, our commencement speaker said, you can do anything as long as you have each other. It, it never landed, right? Um, and the reality of it was that it ultimately wasn't the truth, right? Like not everybody could do everything if they had each other. It wasn't that easy. And I think you all know that already, right? Doing things, being successful, making change is not easy. And it's not just about looking to your left and looking to your right and be like, as long as we have each other forever, we're gonna be able to accomplish anything. No, that's, that's not it, right? So what do I think it is though? I think that it's a matter of perseverance. I think that it's a matter of courage. I think that it's a matter of determination and all those things combined, I think ultimately is a matter of legacy, right? So what I wanna to talk to you all today about is, is not a matter of everybody having to climb the highest heights of success and locking arms to do so. It's a matter of understanding that you already, as you are sitting there, as you're watching this, you're the ancestors of tomorrow, right? You're the people who are gonna define who and what my children get to be. You're the people who are gonna define who and what their children get to be, right? Your legacy is not a matter of how much money you make. Your legacy is not a matter of um, what grad school or undergraduate program you go to or whether you take a gap year or you just wanna go um, do whatever it is that you wanna do. Your legacy is not about any of those things. Your legacy is about who you are and how you make the world a freer, more equitable place, right? And that's why I was so excited to do this because speaking to the feminist eagles, right? I understood that the gears are turning there. They see that already. They're trying to do that. So I call on all of you to do the same, right? I call on all of you to think about what is your legacy, right? What does a legacy look like in a world of hatred, in a world of, of ignorance, in a world you know, of patriarchal standards and racism and classism? What does a world look like where you can define freedom from your cell phone, from a conversation, from an interaction, all the interactions that you can have? You can help change the world, right? So again, it's not about what you become in terms of, you know, making billions of dollars and this and that and third. No, no, no. It's about when you finish watching this video, when you get that diploma, who are you deciding to be for the people around you? How are you, how are you teaching people? How are you stopping people from doing wrong? How are you setting yourself apart from the people who aren't trying to make change? Because that happens in my own household, right? 
when my fiance tells me she didn't love something that I said and I tell her, okay, can you explain why? How can I be a better ally to the women around me, right? How can I be a better ally to the communities of people who are disabled? How can I be a better ally to these various marginalized people? Because that's my legacy, right? And your legacy might be being a good older brother or older sister. Your legacy might be stepping up for the, for the trans woman who needs you, right? Your legacy might be something as simple as saying, you know what? This country is for everybody. In every interaction I have, I'm going to make sure that people know I feel that way. So again, I say here today that when you graduate and you get your diploma and you are finished at your high school and you go out into the world, your success, your legacy will be defined not by your wealth. It won't be defined by your job. It won't be defined by any of those things. You can't take them with you. And I'm still learning that in my 30s. I can't take any of it with me. Your legacy will be defined by how you were a change maker. Your legacy will be defined by who you are for the person to your left and the person to your right. Not just a matter of locking arms with them for success, but locking arms with them to protect them, to have the courage to step in front of them and saying, I will shield you when you can't shield yourself or when you need me to use my own privilege to be there for you, right? So that's what I think today is about. In the years that were 2020, in the years that are 2021 and 2022 and 2023 and all the years that are to come, it's about you being an ancestor to the future generations, about you being a change maker, about you having the courage to do something. And if you do that, no matter what you do after that, you'll have been successful because you'll have left a legacy of liberation, a legacy of courage, a legacy of hope. So that's what I'm hoping that all of you get from this, right? I'm not going to tell you, oh, this guy's the one that did this and that and the third. No, I'm going to just ask you, please, keep doing what most of you are doing, right? Do it on grander scales. Do it when you have children. Do it with your parents. Do it with your friends. Do it online. Do it on social media, right? Keep leaving a legacy. And the success that you'll have is endless. Best of luck, everyone. Congratulations. Dear class of 2021, greetings from my heart to yours. On behalf of our class, I thank everyone, teachers, staff, family, and friends for celebrating this milestone with us and for putting this virtual graduation together. Thank you. This has been the year of keeping up with expectations, even as our lives and the world at large have changed drastically. It's not as if other years have been much different. We're always expected to perform and function within the limits of the molds given to us. At the end of the day, many of us proudly wear our hard work like a badge of honors, no matter the cost. We find ways to justify the sleep we lose, the things we give up, our pains, and so on. Over the past year, these expectations have heightened as we've all been forced to adapt to the so-called new normal. It didn't matter that many of us were still trying to figure out how to get by before or that the new way of doing things weren't working. In the face of more inequitable learning, we kept pushing through even if it meant leaving people behind. When things happened, personal or externally, we had to quickly move on because of the responsibilities that awaited us. None of this is the fault of individual students, teachers, or any school in particular but a problem that has been left unaddressed for far too long and exacerbated by everything that the pandemic has brought us. I say all of this so we remember those who deserve better and as a reminder of how dangerous the mindset of constantly working hard and being productive can be. This is also a reminder to take care of yourselves and one another wherever you may be in the future. Uh, let's continue to support um, each other and take care of one another as we've done these past few years especially um, since everything happened last year it is my hope that one day we get to a point when we all collectively won't look away or move on as we're expected to lastly the act of learning can be rewarding and life-changing whether it be at school or some other place that means a lot to us we want to keep adding things to our life and keep learning. 
However, it's just as important to once in a while step back and unlearn the harmful things we've accumulated because of how they can impact others and ourselves. I sincerely thank all of the teachers and staff at HSCS who have been patient and understanding to us students throughout our time here while in the midst of their own troubles. Congratulations, class of 2021. I believe in every single one of you. Everyone got this. Thank you. Goodbye. Welcome teachers, staff, administrators, families, friends, and lastly my fellow classmates that I'm blessed to join as a member of the class of 2021. Thank you for tuning in to our virtual graduation. I am incredibly honored to serve as a valedictorian. I know it's hard to find ourselves in this new reality, but I am grateful that you have all joined us this afternoon to make the most of the last moments of our high school experience. I want to start off by saying how proud I am of all of us for getting to this point despite being in the midst of an ongoing global pandemic. When the world was on its knees and everything around us was falling apart, when we were surrounded by loss, anguish, uncertainty, and forced to cope with change. We were strong and patient, and now we've made it. We are here alive and breathing, and incredibly close to the beginning of the next chapter of our lives. But I know that for many of us, dealing with all this and getting to this point was not in any way easy. Being surrounded by constant uncertainty and having to get accustomed to so many unprecedented changes in the span of a year and a half was not a pleasant or effortless experience for any of us. Trust me, I know. The truth is, this was not the first time in my life when I had to face so much uncertainty and change at the same time. In fact, I've spent most of my life facing these two things. When I came to the US, when my family found itself without a home in New York City, and we traveled between states and resided in different shelters. Even when I made the decision to transfer to this high school, which I feel so incredibly fortunate to have been a part of. After years of being in a stable environment, uncertainty and change were things I had to face once again. Like many of you, I dreaded these two things. I don't think anyone truly likes to leave their place of comfort, at least not in the beginning. But after enduring all of these experiences, I found that I grew incredibly strong. Every time I had to face these two things again, I felt myself grow a little bit braver to face what was to come. But that doesn't mean I've grown to love, change, or uncertainty completely. Even with all the strength and courage I've accumulated throughout the years, I cannot tell you that I enjoyed facing all these hardships for even one second throughout this pandemic. Maybe I will never truly get used to or enjoy change and uncertainty. But once again, as I stand before you all, I feel a bit braver to face what is to come. I feel stronger than I did before. But why did I choose to share this with you all? Because I know we've all felt it and experienced it. And I want you all to realize how much stronger you've become through these hard times we've faced together and even those you've had to face on your own. It might not feel like it, but the reality is that all of us being here together, even if it's in this unconventional way none of us would have imagined we find ourselves in, that is proof of the strength and resilience each and every one of us has. And it is that same strength and resilience within us that we must cling on to as we exit this stage of our lives and enter a completely unknown and new one whose path is yet to be revealed to us. With that said, whether you choose to go to college or you don't, whether you succeed or you struggle, when you find yourself doubting yourself and your worth, or when you find yourself face to face with those same feelings of uncertainty and that same fear of change, Remember who you are and what you've gone through. Remember your strength, and if you find yourself crawling, remember that you have it in you to pick yourself up like you did in 2020 and 2021. If you can't do it on your own, think back to the things that got you through this global pandemic. Whether that was FaceTiming your friends, meeting with others to clubs, attending virtual school events, or anything else. Remember that there are always those who care in this world, and don't be afraid to lean on them because in the end, they are also human just like you. Finally, I want to thank all of you for welcoming the 15-year-old version of me into your school with open arms, allowing her to find a loving community among you. I want to thank all of you for being my joy and a constant source of companionship and hope you know that if you ever need anything, I will be there with open arms for a reciprocate. I also want to thank all of the wonderful teachers, assistant principals, co-advisors, and school staff who have allowed me to find a family outside of my home and have served as my biggest supporters and mentors 
since the first day I walked through those green doors of 444 West 56th Street in 2018. Finalmente, le doy gracias a Jehová por ser mi fuente siempre y a mi familia cercana y lejana por siempre recordarme que si otros pueden, yo también puedo. Thank you. And I can't wait to see all the ways in which you all shape the world. Presenting the High School for Environmental Studies Class of 2021 graduates. Picture shy seniors will be represented by an eagle, our school mascot. Natalia Acevedo Cruz. Chantal Agramonte. Acusia Aguiman. Taryn Ahmed. Joshua Alamo. Asma Al-Ghazali. Syed Ali. Sherielli Almanzar. Justin Almonte. Kevin Alonzo Suarez. Kellen Alvarado. Amelia Alvarez. Adrian Alvarez. Javier Apolinar. Amber Aquino Mejia. Denise Arroyo. Sadiq Austin. Shirley Baez. Wezaro Bailey. Akiria Banton. Christopher Parker. Teresa Bautista. Pamela Benitez. Evelyn Bermejo. Diego Betances. Michael Boria. Brandon Bradley. Zariah Brown. Anaya Bunch. Kamel Butts. Michael Caballero. Adrian Campos. Alexa Castillo. Alex Cayetano. Kenneth Centeno. Emilio Cepeda. Amel Cepeda. Joanna Chan. Patricio Charles. Jason Chavez. Jason Chen. Alex Chu. Zoe Clavel. Elena Coltrane. Andy Contreras. Joshua Crespo. Joely Cruz. Jeremy Cruz. Audrey Cruz Acosta. Alexis Tchaikovsky. Anthem Dang. Noel Davidson. Diallo Dawuda. Carice de la Cruz. Jaylee de los Santos. 
Hamadi Diara, Cecily Diaz, Niseli Diaz, David Diaz, Denise Domina, Samuel Dong, Kayla Duran, Jeremiah Duran, Danielle Dutz, Emily Echevarria, Gabby Eng, Nemorato Ferdus, Furnacy Fernandez, Emmanuel Fisher, Wendy Flores, Sherelle Flores, Brian Flores, Elasia Fontana, Ashanis Franco, Mia Franklin, Deja Gadsen, Vincent Gao, Wendy Garcia, Hector Gerardo, Berenice Gervasio, Eric Godoy, Nix Angelis Gonzalez, A.B. Brian Gonzalez, Kevin Gonzalez Marcial, Leah Griffin, Chris Valen Gruyon, Ana Grujon, Alexander Guaman, Gabriel Guareno, Angel Guerra, Sean Guo, Adelisa Gutik, Michelle Gutierrez, Shailen Guzman, Jasmine Haddad, Jordana Haredi, Miles Harris, Riaj Hassan, Ronald Hay, Yarelis Hernandez, Jacob Hernandez, Frandy Hisano. Jeffrey Hu, Cindy Kyung, Najiba Islam, Nushra Eva, Ulises Jaimes, Mariatu Yalo. Jolie Javier, Joseli Jimenez, Enrique Jimenez, Jaspreet Johal, Tariq Johnson. Kayla Jolivet, Ruth Joseph, Samani Jurakan, 
Amadou Kaba. Jimin Ko. Ram Kukai. Flamor Kukai. Vivica Kewachua. Mariam Lawal. Charlie Lawson. Carmen Lee. Hernan Lema Espalat. Benaya Lewis. Chi Yan Liang. Ki Yin Liang. Haoshan Lin. Fernelli Liriano. Lorraine Liu. Charlie Liu. Jose Lopez. Jason Lopez. Brian Lopez. Ariana Lopez. Aileen Lopez Garcia. Sashel Lopez Rodriguez. Christopher Liu. Michael Luchiski. Victor Luo. Isatu Maiga. Randall Menard. Dion Marfo. Braulio Marquez. Jesus Marte. Suheili Martinez. Justin Martinez. Julian Martinez. Alicia Martinez Flores. Efrain Martinez Jr. Isauro Matias Mendoza. Gerald Medina. Anushka Mejia. Giselle Mendez Sanchez. Kayla Mercedes. Leila Merlin. Ethan Messina. Mina Mihalova. Benjamin Milligan Joseph. Miriam Helles Miranda. Maddox Mogetson. Ryan Monroe. Robert Monsanto. Adrian Montalvan. Nichelle Morrell. Daphne Morillo. Claudia Moranai. 
Ivanelli Moscoso, Brianna Muniz, Kevin Munoz, Maximilian Murphy, Abdul Mudalif, Anish Nalu. Hashki Nikobibash Jazira Nunes Ragda Obayi Daphne Okayama Rinaldo Oliveira Jivan Olivero Antoinette Oyero Marglendis Ortega Erica Ortega Saul Ortiz Bruce Ortiz Maya J. Pacheco Leslie Pacheco Shakai Crisleni Paula Ventura Stephanie Penafort Jolene Peralta Dalen Peralta Vanessa Perez Michael Perez Carla Perez Joan Perez Janet Perez Edra Perez Brindelis Perez Josette Perez Cereso Liam Perican Alicia Persad Abigail Quesada Jacob Carola Stephanie Ramirez Diana Ramirez Angel Ramirez Yuseba Ramisa Brittany Ramos Isaiah Renoto Aiden Resnick Natalie Reyes Erica Reyes Villa Ashley Reynoso J. Marco Ricci Vianney Richardson Ashley Rivera Alberto Robles Princess Rodriguez Kelsey Rodriguez Jonathan Rodriguez Destiny Rodriguez 
Ayana Rodriguez. Micheline Romero. Daniel Romero. Johnny Wrong. Chelsea Ripchan. Corey Rocker. Jubair Saki. Nicole Salazar. Maylin Salto Rosales. Athman Sami. Brian Sanchez. Gilberto Santana. William Santiago Montes. Dean Santos. Katie Serrano. Janine Shaw. Seattle Sidibe. Cameron Simmons. Abel Simpkins. Jackson Scott. Angelica Soriano. Peter Soriano Flores. Isabel Steck. Weikai Sun. Danielle Tan. Yelin Taveras. Felix Teles Iwasaki. Aaron Torres. Ishmael Valerio. Viancalina Vega. Charlie Vega. Jason Veras. Alexa Vera. Jose Veras Rosario. Kaya Viana. Carlos Villanueva. Stephen Vivar. Billy Webster. Deshaun Williams. Jack Yang. Howen Yang. Mateus Zbikowski. Good afternoon, high school for environmental study seniors. Please repeat after me. I shall never bring any disgrace to the high school for environmental studies, nor shall I ever desert my community. But I, both alone and with my fellow graduates, shall fight for the ideals and sacred things to our communities, such as environmental integrity, economic vitality, and social justice. Thank you. By the power vested in me by the state of New York and the Department of Education of the city of New York, I now declare you graduates of the High School for Environmental Studies.